Hey guys, welcome out to the shop today. A while ago, I had chopped up this log right here and got it split down and it is about two inches thick and about 10 inches wide. I really need a set of winding sticks in my shop to really do proper hand tool work. So today I think I'm gonna cut this up into a bunch of pieces to create some winding sticks. So the first step in this process is gonna be trying to get it roughly flattened out. And to do so, I'm gonna be trying to take down this side of the piece of lumber as much as possible to equal out to about the same thickness as this side. one thing that I need to address real quick. I've got in one side, this back side right here, mainly flat. It keeps on rocking when I'm trying to square it all up with the, the thicknessing part. And it's because of these sides are kind of torn because of how I cut it with just chopping with the ax. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and now just right away, go ahead and cut these sides off. That way I actually have the meat of the wood that I can work with and then I can put it in here in the vise, clean up the edges and then I can go ahead from there with flattening and thicknessing this piece of lumber. I just got done sawing both from one side then I flipped it over and ran it down the other side and it's not exactly straight with the line but that's alright. What I'm going to do is loosen up the vise a little bit and I've got a wedge. I'm just going to put a wedge in here and try to split it the rest of the way. See that's pretty easy. Now all I have is like a little thin piece of wood that got cut down here. I can come with the wedge from the other side and knock that off too. But let's do this side real quick. And there it is. That one's done. And you can see how this one was a little straighter and then this one ran in towards the middle. But that's alright. Now I can just take the lumber and I can flip it on its side. And I can ugh. then I can plane it this way and get this edge straightened up, squared up. this bottom flattened and both these sides flattened and squared up to this face. Now what I want to do is go ahead and start actually getting the thickness correct and obviously the thickest part I'm going to be able to measure off of is right here. So I'm just going to take my marking gauge and get that thickness or just slightly under and go around all the sides.
Now that I've got my block all squared up, I'm going to start cutting out my strips. My strips are going to be 5 eighths of an inch wide at least. And so I'm going to be cutting them at 3 quarters of an inch just to give myself some extra room and so I can come back with a hand plane and clean up both sides after I get them cut out. So as you can see, if one strip is just this wide, I can get a lot of winding sticks out of this one piece. What I'm doing right now is making sure that the bottom side is flush and then I'll clamp these together So those are both flush now. Now that the bottom side is all flush, I've got it clamped down. What I'm going to do is run over it real quick with my number seven, just to make sure that both of them are even. What we're going to do now is mark one end We're going to cut off of this end and we're going to make this 16 inches long so I'm making sure that I have enough and I do. So we're going to go ahead and cut this bit off. Alright, so now we've got that and we can find our center point which is going to be at eight inches and then we're going to mark down one quarter of oh, where the eight inches go there it is and then we're going to mark down half an inch off of that spot and this is where we're going to put our inlay piece so what I can do now is take my drill find that spot This is a three eighths inch bit I've got in there and then I have some 3 8 inch dowel that I will take and I will cut a piece off of and put that back in the dowel holder and then we can go ahead and get some glue bring this back over here Get your glue, squeeze just a little bit of glue in there. You don't need much, just a little bit. Put your dowel in there the best that you can get it. You can even, if you have a tough time getting it in the hole, you can take a knife and kind of taper the bottom edge that's going in. got that and then I can go ahead and take a saw Now I've got a little bit left over. That's okay. I'm just going to take 
some sandpaper. You can take a scraper if you have a scraper, if you want to go over it that way. A hand plane. Uh, I've just got some sandpaper sitting here. So I'm gonna clean all that up real quick. Get a little bit higher grit. Just gonna run this over the whole winding stick real quick. Gonna knock off the edges too on the ends. Well, after some uh, light buffing on them to remove some of that wax and kind of get it pushed into the grain and stuff, these are finally done. I really like how they look. I like the design of the grain and the different colors that showed up in here. And I really like the inlay piece that's also in the middle of the pieces so I know kind of how to balance them out when I am going ahead and just, you know, trying to. Uh, square up stock and stuff like that. These are really simple to use. You pretty much just line them up on your board and then you take a look back and you see which one's twisted. If they're like this, you know you got to take off some on this corner and on this corner. And you just work it back and forth until when you eye it up, they're level. So thanks for joining me today and watching me build these winding sticks. These are really simple to make and a really great accessory to the shop and will help with future projects and squaring up stock and rough lumber, stuff like that. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead hit that thumbs up button and if you are new, welcome and please hit that subscribe button for more woodworking videos. If you guys do enjoy all of my content, please consider becoming a patron over on patreon.com and all your support really helps out with future builds. I'm hoping to post more projects and even some future plans on builds that I do and kind of start doing a little bit more in depth details with the patrons over there. And anyone who does support does receive some kind of little thank you and if you do certain amounts you guys get stickers and even bottle openers made out of railroad spikes. So please do consider doing that to help support the channel and get it to grow even more. So thanks for watching. Go out now and build your own winding sticks. Give them a try and see how they turn out and as always I'll see you guys on the next video.